Face it like the moon, all craters and boils. Oh, for God's sake, Mrs. Price, come and see me in my office. I know, but since you're here, Doctor, I'm sure my door should be dubbed. But Prozac is an extremely sophisticated drug. I can't go doubling your dose just like that. I know, I know, but I. I don't... Another word, I'll have you committed. Yes, Doctor. Oh, sit up, man. Dad is the doctor. Wake up, Randy, man. It's the doctor. Oh, uh, oh. pleased to meet you, ma'am. Randolph Lincoln the third. Really? What happened to the other two? Pardon me? All right, then, Price, what's the matter with you? Yeah. Stick this oh. under your arm. Do you want anything now, Doctor? Are you still no, here? No, no, I'm going. <laughs> what happened to that other poor, miserable beggar? English then? Oh, he hung himself in a fit of black depression, he did, Doctor. Oh, yes, I remember. I signed the death certificate. From that very door? All right, and Price, out with it. What's the matter with you? Oh, I'm not well, Doctor. I'm weak, and I'm... Covered in boils all over my face. I got one on my bum. <laughs> Let's have a look. <clears throat> Do you think I got leprosy, Doctor? Or maybe I got that radiator sickness. <laughs> you can tell me, Doctor. Tell me the truth. I can take it. Am I going to die? No, Price, you're not. You're going to live forever. Am I? No, of course you're not, man. Can't you tell I was joking? Oh, good one, Doctor. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> So, I am going to die, then. Look, Price, like all living things, one day your life will end. Your present condition will neither hasten nor delay that moment. Eh? She means you're not going to die yet, Idris. Oh, well, <laughs> fair enough, then. Oh, why didn't you marry again, Price? Open your shirt. No woman could ever replace my young Ara, Doctor. She was a formidable woman, Price, I agree. Do you know, she could carry a goat in one hand from Tonpentry to Mardi. Whoa, why did she want to do that, Idris? Well, she had the shopping in the other hand, see? All right, cough. <laughs> again. <laughs> and again. <laughs> oh, you've got a slight cough. Perfectly normal. <laughs> Nothing wrong with you. I'm bad, man. Like you said, Price, you're getting old. Your body is in the in the grip of terminal decay. Boils are par for the course. Give thanks it's not something even more disgusting. But don't worry about it. Can it do nothing for me? Aspirin, Price. Take two, four times a day. Will that help? No, but it'll give you something to do. <laughs> don't bother me again. I won't come. <laughs> Bye, Price. Goodbye, Doctor. She won't come? What kind of a doctor is that? Terminal decay, she said I was in. In medical science, wonderful, Randy. <sighs> your powers of healing and spirituality will be highlighted this week by the moon in Uranus. That sounds painful. Hey, you don't believe in all that crap, you Randy boy. Well, sure I do, Gwen. I studied under a guru in Southern California for six months. That sounds painful and all. No, it was a diploma <laughs> course. The stars, the cosmos and you. I did really well in the stars and cosmos, but then I failed in myself. It's rubbish, man. We are just egg-ed monkeys, and when you're dead, you're dead. You just lie there doing nothing. Oh, aye. You must be dead already, then. <laughs> the stars just twinkle. That's all they do. They got bugger all to do with us, man. Do you know you're almost as stupid as your father? Aye, well, he's had longer to work at it, hasn't he? The poor old guy, you know, he's not well. Not well. He's in his oils, man. He loves being sick. Craving attention, that's what he is. Yeah, but Gwyn, according to my guru, craving attention is a sign of primal insecurity, and it can respond to the correct healing thing. Therapies. Primal insecurity. Healing therapies. It, it's rubbish, man. It's monkey puke. <laughs> you don't always have to make a joke out of everything, you know, Gwen. Listen to Randy. You might learn something. Go on, love. Well, I was just thinking, you know, that... Well, maybe I could try some alternative methodologies. Alternative to what? Well, alternative to leaving them up there to lie in bed. I mean, 
I reckon that the human body is a microcosm for the universe itself. You are a dreamer, Randy boy. A dreamer in the valley of inertia. Anyway, you're not going to get Dad to agree to no alternative methodologies, man. He still swears by leeches. <laughs> I'm going to give it a go anyhow. Oh, I'm slipping away, Randy. It's the Pharaoh's curse, a plague of boils. Oh, well, I'd kind of like to help you, Idris. Oh, I'm beyond help now, son. Well, I've been thinking that maybe your illness is kind of psychological, you know, more mental than physical. Are you trying to say I'm mental? No, no, of course not. Though, I mean, the psychiatrically challenged have nothing to be ashamed of. Well, I just thought maybe we could try something. Oh, try what, man? Well, I'm, I'm talking alternative healing here. Alternative healing, be buggered? <laughs> I don't believe in that newfangled stuff, man. Ointments, pills and needles, that's what I believe in. But modern chemicals can have terrible side effects. Oh, bugger the side effects. <laughs> the main effect is they makes you better. Look, Idris, please, uh, trust me on this. Let me try a little experiment. Experiment? No way, boy -o. I'm no white mouse. No, no, I, I know you're not. I'm a meat and two veg man myself. <laughs> Though I did once buy two pairs of sparkly socks. Well, <laughs> think of this as the sparkly socks of the inner being. But I never wore them, and they're up there on top of the wardrobe. You can have them if you like. Idris? I. You're not old-fashioned, are you? Yes, I am, and I'm proud of it. Well, there you go, then. You can't get more old-fashioned than traditional medical treatments. Aye, aye. You're trying to fool me now, aren't you? You're trying to catch me out. <laughs> it's not just that you're afraid, is it, old buddy? Afraid? Listen, son, I fought in the war. I'm not afraid of nothing. Except vampires, of course, and they don't <laughs> exist. Well, I mean, there you go, if you're not afraid. Does it do it? No, it's great. It's called rebirthing. I learned it in New Mexico. <laughs> we, we create a wholesome, safe, prenatal environment. A sort of an artificial womb. Womb? <laughs> that sounds quite erotic. Well, they do say that being born is like having an orgasm. Do they? <laughs> oh, well, if you think it'll do me some good. Great. <laughs> What's that smell? Oh, it's the smell of burning joss stick. Burning boss stick? <laughs> I thought you sniffed at that from a tin man. No, joss stick, Idris. It's incense. Come on in. Hey, wow. I've never seen a swimsuit like that before. <laughs> oh, it was my camp piece. Oh, well, it looks new. Ah, well, he never wore it. He couldn't swim, see? <laughs> In you get, then. The womb, is it? That's right. <laughs> Help me in now, son. You got it. <laughs> OK, now, you got to lie down, Idris, uh, in the water, like you're in the bath. I'm in the bath, man. <laughs> Yeah. Warm anyway. Now close your eyes. I can even see the flickering of the candles through my eyelids, man. That's right. Now, breathe deeply. Feel the warmth. Feel the warmth of the water and let your muscles relax. Release all the tension from your body. <laughs> it's okay. Is it? Sure it is. It's fine. You're safe and warm, bathed in gentle, comforting light. Listening to music. Yeah, listening to the music deep in a, in a beautiful... Smelling the boss stick. Yeah? <laughs> deep in a beautiful, velvety... Ooh. Now listen, Idris, it's not going to work if you keep interrupting. Sorry, son. Go on. Okay. I won't interrupt again. Good. It's just that I'm so excited, see? It's great, this one, once it gets used to it. See? Please, Idris. <laughs> All right, I won't say another word. Keep your eyes closed. I got them closed, man. Good. <laughs> That's fine. 
right now, in the distance, you can see a small point of light. Brilliant light. Wow. The light is drawing you towards it. It's growing larger. You're being drawn towards the light. It's drawing you closer. 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 Am I reborn now? Oh, no, I don't think you are. Oh, bloody hell, Rami, but I've just had an horrible dream where I was nearly hurt by a dead person. I'm still covered in boys. And I've just had a bath and I didn't need the bloody thing. I'm oh, sorry, Idris. I don't know what happened. I mean, well, maybe I used the wrong incense. Wrong incense, be buggered. <laughs> I knew it wouldn't work, man. Only things that hurt make you better. Every bugger knows that. <laughs> Besides, being born once is enough, isn't it? Sucked down into this hell. True enough, sir. Anyhow, Randy haven't given up hope. Optimistic bugger, isn't he? Oh, aye. Aye, aye, here he is. The bug one. <laughs> All right, but. How you feeling now, old buddy? Weak, son. Deathly weak. I'm really sorry. The boils have taken root. <laughs> Poor old bugger. I haven't been the same since Mum died, have you? Oh, you have. I've been a lot better since she died. <laughs> no, that's what I meant. What was it that she died of? Knocked down, she was, by the works bus outside the co-op. Oh, gosh, that must have been a terrible shock, it was. Well, it was. It was a terrible, terrible shock. He was driving the bus. <laughs> you ran over your own wife with a bus? It wasn't my fault, man. She was drunk. Blotto, she was, on the Tia Maria. Barely able to walk, she was, man. She crawled out in front of me from behind a milk float. That's why I didn't see her. What, your fault, then, Dad? No, and I'll strangle any man who says it was. The street stank of Tia Maria. It was like a clinic in Madrid. Still a horrible way to die, that's... Don't go on about it, man. What kind of a woman was she, Idris? Hard, son. Very, very hard. Hard but fair, huh? No, she wasn't fair, just hard. Oh, the woman in black! What? Well, that's why the rebirthing didn't work. Why? Well, because your illness isn't incarnationary trauma-based. Isn't it? No, it's quasi-psycho-spiritual life experience-based. Eh? Guilt! Guilt! <laughs> Guilt? Yes, the, the vision you had in the bath, the woman in black, it must have been her, Angrad. Angrad? Your wife? Oh, Angrad. Well, I mean, was it? Well, I don't know. Her face was it. Yeah, but I mean, her shape, her body, you must have recognized it. Her body? She never let me see her body. No man ever saw her body. And lived. Well, I am sure that it was her. I am sure that the source of your illness is guilt. But it wasn't my fault, man. No, it wasn't his fault, man. That doesn't mean you don't feel guilt. Don't it? No. Well, that don't seem fair. We have been approaching this from the wrong angle. We need to take a more direct route. I am not going under the knife. No, heck, I don't mean that. What I mean is that if, if Angrad were to forgive you for knocking her down with the bus... But she's dead, man, rotted away. Well, I know that, but there are ways. You're not suggesting we dig her up, are you, Randy boy? <laughs> because digging up corpses is frowned upon in Wales. But in South Wales, anyway. <laughs> no, nothing like that. I, there are other ways of communicating with those beyond the veil. Planetly, you mean? <laughs> oh, Dad, man, not the veil of Glamorgan. The veil, eh, between this world and the next. Uh, between uh, the grave, man. The queen's right, a seance. Now, we'll need more bodies. Dead bodies? No, regular living bodies, Idris. People. We, we need a balance of male and female energies. Well, leave it to me. I know where I'm going now. Wow. My shockers are really cooking. Do you think her 
Sandy looks like Keanu Reeves. Like Keanu Reeves' arts, he looks. He don't. Keanu Reeves' arts is a nice one. Ah, but not for a face. It's better than a lot of blokes' faces, isn't it? But Randy's face looks like Keanu Reeves' face, I think. A bit I. <laughs> Like an ugly Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Randy's not ugly. I think he's gorgeous. Only because he's American? No, it's not. Yes, it is. You'd fancy anyone who's American. You'd fancy Barney Rubble if you met him. No, I wouldn't. He's not like other blokes. All blokes is like other blokes, man. Well, Randy's not. Do you think he's got nice eyes? I don't know, do I? You do keep on about bloody Randy all the time, you do I? It's Randy this and Randy that all the bloody time, man. I like him, Mendridge. Well, shag him, then. <laughs> I'm going to. I just want to get to know him first. Why? Well, so he liked me, innit? <laughs> there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Hiya. Hi. Let's go, is it, man? Well, I hope your mum don't come. And the idea is that she does come, innit, Dad? Aye, but there's still a couple of things you haven't punished me for, see? What sort of things, bud? Well, knocking her down and killing her for one, innit? <laughs> and sitting on her pen and smashing it the night before. You shouldn't have done it, man, Dad. Oh. She poked me in the eye once because her crisps were damp. Well, maybe she changed. I mean, death is bound to have an effect on a person, innit? Look, if anything funny happens, I don't think my constitution can stand it. Well, you're a sensitive man, see, Di? Aye. Like a crystalline flower, my mind is, aye. Like a dried-up butterfly's wing. So if she comes, I'm off. Oh, well, here hang he on, is. Hang on. Return oh. of the Jedi. OK, now, I want you all to give a big thank you to Mandy oh, and Bridget for coming. Bridget. All right, Mandy, Bridget. Now, all the extra right. female energies. Oh, that's all right. I've got a lot of female energy. Haven't I, Bridget? Yeah. <laughs> right, we need to alternate the sexes. What? Boy, girl, boy, girl, Bridget. <laughs> right, Mora, you need to sit there. Right, you well, go well, OK, I move see. over one. Yeah, Shall I sit back where you are? Bridget, you're right here. All right, all right. All right, all right. OK. Over there, then. Now look, boy, there, I haven't moved. Don't <laughs> trust me, man. <laughs> okay. Now I want us all to hold hands. <laughs> no. no funny business now, Idris. Oh, you've got lovely hands. Mandy, you're cutting off my circulation. Oh, I wish we were alone. Mandy, please. Oh, anything, Randy, anything you want. I mean, please, can you lessen the constriction, please? Oh, all right. Thank you. Now, I want you all to be very, very quiet and to clear your minds of all thought. Starting, are we? Yes. <laughs> now close your eyes. You don't look like Keanu Reeves, man. He do! No, he don't. He looks like Marine Boy from the cartoon. He don't look like a cartoon. He do! Look, Bridget, we, we've got to get on with this, or, or else... With that'll come in it? <laughs> OK, um, just concentrate on your breathing. Empty your minds of all thought. Think of nothing. Oh, it'll be a piece of cake for you, Di. <laughs> piece of cake, you said. But be quiet! Please! Oh, you're Quite so good. masterful. See, Bridge, a cartoon character's not masterful, is it? Top cat is. Mandy! I was her, I want me, I was her! Bridget? Yeah? OK, now breathe with me. Powers of the afterworld, we are here to beg your favor. We want to speak with Angrad Price, late of this household, who was knocked down by the works bus outside the co-op. <laughs> Angrad? Angrad, are you there? Angrad, Idris is here. Your husband. He wants to talk to you. To ask your forgiveness. No, Randy, I don't want to talk to him. I shall twist my words. Uh, a sign, then, Angrad, an acknowledgement that you bear him no grudge, a symbol of your eternal forgiveness. In the name of La Achaea, I call upon the sacred light so that the cosmic energies might flow once more freely between you and your husband. Your husband.
English. Stan. Idris. <laughs> Stan. How are you, Idris? How very nice to see you again. But you were dead, man. Oh, the unfortunate incident of the rope in the bedroom door. Aye, for two days, I thought he was an overcoat. <laughs> Till you started to smell like. Uh, I do apologise for causing any offence. I was not in my right mind then. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> hey, it was a lovely funeral. Pity nobody came. Ah, oh, well, nobody liked you, did they? <laughs> it was such a miserable old bugger, man. That's true. <laughs> But I must say, I miss the sound of you sobbing in the nights. Ah, oh, it was so comforting. Idris, <laughs> have a beer. Oh, thanks, Dad. Hey, tell me, bud. Where am I? Am I dead? Not yet. I'm not well, mate. No, I can see. <laughs> Boils the size of gobstoppers. I hope you don't mind me saying this, Dad. What's that, Idris? You've got women's clothes on, but And I'm glad you brought that up. I wasn't going to mention it myself. Make you, do they? Indeed not. Nobody makes you do anything here. Oh, sounds like heaven, but Oh, it is as you say, Idris. It's heaven. You see, that's why life was so hard for me. I never felt right in trousers. I always fancied slipping into a pretty dress or a little black number. I wanted to wear perfume. I craved big diamante earrings shaped like starfish. I wanted to feel silk on my legs to sweep along in a ball gown made of satin and dance till dawn in four-inch stilettos. But I couldn't. I was too frightened of what people might say. Too hidebound by convention. And, of course, it killed me in the end. A tragedy in the classic Greek bowl, some might say. Oh, you don't mind, do you, Idris? Mind? Hell no, son. I don't mind. You can wear what you bloody like. <laughs> but you should have told me, man. I'd have got you something from Moira's catalogue. <laughs> so if I'm not dead, how come I'm up here? The seance? The seance? But I thought that was a load of nonsense. Oh, indeed not. I was summoned. I was called. I but we was calling Ang Arad. Oh, she can't hear you, Idris. Not with all the screams of the eternally damned in her ears. She's not down there, is she? Well, no, I exaggerate. She's not actually in the infernal chip pan itself. <laughs> She'll be in a sort of, um, an unreal netherworld. Like Newport, you mean? <laughs> not unlike Idris. Oh, well, that's all right, then. She'll be out shopping, I expect. <laughs> I dare say. Or playing bingo. Mm, which is why you got through to me instead. Hey, this is nice beer up here. Ooh. Well, you felt all queer then, man. Oh, you're being drawn back by your physical body. Oh, by me. It was a funny feeling. Oh, it was like uh, going over ramp in the road, you know, in a car. You're fading, Idris. Fading? Oh, hell, I don't want to fade, man, stuff. Look, before you go, a tip about the boils. Boot polish, Idris. Boot polish and tea. Rub a little on before you go to bed, and when you wake up, every last stinking pustule will have disappeared. Boot polish and tea? <laughs> Thanks, Dan. I'll try it. Never fails. But listen now, Stan, I don't want to go yet. I haven't finished my beer. Oh, I'm sorry, Idris. It's out of my hands, oh, old chap. come on now, Stan. Help me, man. I like the beer. I now, you say. won't remember any of this, Idris, except oh. the boot polish. Yeah, I'll clear that with head, head office. Man. Goodbye, Idris. Help me, man. Goodbye. Evil have got into him. Stay no, it's not. It's a fit, and it's a nervous slap his face, slap punch Don't him. Don't go in my way. What's going on, your Randy? Well, I'm not sure. I've never seen this before. I mean, it could be. Well, it could be uh... food poisoning, oh, isn't it? God. His head might spin off, and another head pop up in its place. <gasps> An idiot's head, man. he will have to be bloody idiots to be more idiots than the one he's got now. Oh, Ash man, he's coming too. He's coming too. Just stay back. Dad, Dad, Idris. Get your soul, buddy. Hey. Hey, are you okay? I think so. What happened? <laughs> well, I was... You was what, bud? I was somewhere... Where? 
Where were you, Mandat? Well, I don't know. I... No, I can't remember. Well, try. Try and remember. Yeah, I... No, no, I can't remember. <laughs> I was in Newport, man. Newport? <laughs> but his brain's unaffected anyway. He's as stupid as ever. Right. Now, this is the first and last time that the Price family will be found dabbling in the occult. <laughs> you laugh for a normal family, but our minds are on the very precipice of bloody sanity to start with. <laughs> Balancing we are, man. Now, there'll be no more seances in this house. Yeah, and that's but... final. Thanks for keeping me company, Randy boy. Well, that's all right, Idris. <laughs> so it just kind of came to you, huh? Aye, cherry blossom and PG tips. <laughs> like a little voice, it was. Smear it on your face, it said. That is weird. <laughs> weird, but kind of beautiful. Maybe it was a ghost, see? A ghost from the seance. Oh, well, maybe. Or a little ghost that did in my ear. <laughs> Maybe, of course, it was my Auntie Annie. Well, that's possible. Was it a woman's voice? No. Oh. I reckon it was an engram. You know, a, a lost memory brought back into consciousness by the psychic excitement of the day. Why? Oh, yeah, you know something that you know, but you didn't know that you knew. Blame you are a clever bloke, I Randy. <laughs> something you know, but didn't know. Do, do. You were more clever than Gwyn. <laughs> my field of expertise is, is different than his. Well, aye, of course it is. He don't know nothing, man, but you knows everything. Even things you don't know, you know, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. Anyway, I need to get some rest. I need to restore my chakras. Cocked, are they, but? <laughs> Razzle. Oh. All right. <sighs> <sighs> Trouble is, I'm not tired, see. Why don't you just try lying there in silence, then? Aye, but I might start thinking about something eating me, then, devouring my flesh. <laughs> try counting sheep hopping over a fence, then. Aye, all right. One, two, three, four. Hey, they're not sheep, man. They're corpses. <laughs> I'm sure corpses will do just fine. <laughs> One idiot's rotting corpse. Two idiot's rotting corpses. Three idiot's rotting. <laughs> hey, that's Starman. What's he doing there? Up over the fence, Stan boy. Up over the fence. <laughs>